Hi, welcome to Rice Capital video tutorial. Today's tutorial is about buy volume only indicator. This is a free for lifetime indicator for NinjaTrader 8. If you are thinking about subscribing to our premium indicator buy sell volume or any other indicator, you can try this indicator for free to have a look how our indicators work and then you can subscribe to our premium indicators and strategies. So this indicator is free for lifetime so you don't have to unsubscribe it you can use it forever for free even if you don't use it you, you don't incur any charges so this free ninja trader 8 custom program indicator plots a vertical bars on the chart for any instrument to show the current buy volume only in the market as you can see on this screen here so these are all buy volumes but this indicator plots real time and historical buy volume only. So I want to make a couple of points here. So this indicator needs Ninja Trader 8 lifetime license subscription. And this indicator works on intraday time based minute bar types. So when I say intraday time based minute bar types, so all these minutes. Um, you know the time frame you can see it works on those But if you try to use you know range or tick or volume bar types or any other different types of bar types Or if you're trying to use anything uh, above intraday time frame, it will not give you the correct information Now in terms of volumes now if you're using Forex pair uh, For this indicator Forex pairs doesn't have any real-time, you know real volume uh, through any exchange so you could use um, up down tick data option uh, which I'm going to show you in a second and for any other instrument which does have real-time you know volume data uh, coming from exchange you can use ask option so let me quickly show you how to set it up if you go to indicators then you should be able to see uh, all these options available for you so now uh, we have kept uh, in this new upgraded version you can switch between up down tick and ask so if you're using any any instrument which does have real time you know ask data coming in then you can use that option then it will uh, plot all the volume based on ask data and if you're using you know forex pairs or any instrument which doesn't have real time actual volume data then you can use that option um, it will work absolutely fine and rest of you know these settings you should just keep it like that um, or you can if you want you can basically uh, change the plots uh, let me just quickly show you so if you don't like this color you can change the color into you know different ways that you want um, sometimes if you, if you don't want to you know plot in the bar you can use other options if you don't like you know the width you can change it but the most important part is on this one which type of volume uh, actually you, you want to plot on your chart now as I said previously if you're trying to use this indicator on uh, any time frame which is you know above intraday it will show a message just to remind you that you, you just need to use internet let me just quickly change it to probably uh, let's change it to a daily um, let's make it um, day and let's bring it down so you can see it says please use intraday time frame chart for accurate data so now similarly if you're trying to use it in um, maybe a tick chart then it will um, show not exactly the same but it will tell you this indicator is effective on time based minute bar type so this just gives you a reminder that you are not um, using the correct um, time frame or the correct uh, bar type now let's let's put it back to you know like a normal time based bar type chart and I'm going to show you how you can use them for your trading strategies. Right, so for the demonstration uh, purpose, we are using um, Forex pair, you know, cable uh, one minute chart. So 
um, before I go to the live data on, on, it, on the market replay, uh, let me just quickly show you actually how this indicator is going to help you with your market decision. Now, as you can see, uh, let me just quickly get um, the rectangle. As you can see here, uh, at that point, you can see the volume, the buy volume gone so high. So if I am making a decision and if I see such a big buy volume, I will be very cautious about you know selling at that spot. Rather, I might think there is a huge amount of buyer interested to purchase on that price. And now after that, you could see basically how far it has gone. Now, that is not the only place you can see this kind of you know move in different other places. So let me go quickly back and show you some of the places. So you can see here, uh, you can see there's a huge you know uh, amount of volume by volume you know was traded, and you can see the, the price has gone up, um, and you can also see you, you, you can. Say basically there is a huge volume but you can see eventually it has gone up so it doesn't have this indicator this free version of this indicator doesn't have any sale um, so but I reckon looking at the buy uh, the sale should be high then probably uh, but I don't want to you know, guess or assume about the sale side but I can see there was a huge buy volume at that point. The market was falling. So with this huge amount of buy pressure, the price stopped moving downward. So I hope that kind of give you an idea, basically how effectively you can use them. Uh, now let's let's go to the live data uh, and show you basically how it works. So. Let me speed up a little bit, so just to maybe 15, okay? And you can see basically that's how you will see on, on, on a live data that what is the actual real time uh, buy volume is um, basically uh, moving the market. So at the moment you can see there is not a such um, high volume of uh, uh, buy volume in the market. Um, and it is early in the morning so let me just speed up a little bit and let's see how we can make a decision based on that so I can see there is a little bit of a spike there it has went up uh, then it, it went down but I can see there is a new build up coming up you can see and the price is going up so this way you can basically have a good idea about you know the buy volume in the market the price you know you can see the buy volume uh, was not that great at that point then again it has gone up uh, so this indicator uh, is just a free indicator um, if you just want to know how uh, you know our premium indicator buy sell volume works so this is a good way to basically uh, dip your toe in the water just to see basically how effective this can be now you have an option to switch between you know um, ask and up down tick previously this is a upgraded version so previous version didn't have that option that was only limited to up down tick but with this version you should be able to switch between ask bid um, I mean ask volume for this buy only side and up down tick volume as well so uh, I hope that clarifies about this indicator but if you have got any suggestion or if you have any any point you want to make if you want to feed us back any any comment you are welcome you can contact us through our contact us page and I'll leave your comment about this free indicator uh, if you are trying to subscribe subscribe it is free forever and just you know provide the details um, so that we can activate your license and good luck with your trading bye for now